Hey guys, this is Lee. Uh, welcome to Reefer Explained and just wanted to take you through some of the products I'm using today. Um, just on the kind of extra stuff that I added to my uh, Red Sea E260 just to make it more comfortable and easier for me to run this tank. And there's much more products to come with updates and um, reviews. And this, uh, this is not sponsored by anybody. This is just my own aquarium at home, as you can see. And so sorry if the, uh, the camera or the shakiness uh, bothered you. So I'll try to keep this to a minimum. So I'm just gonna get straight to it and just show you what I've got. As you can see, a bunch of products down here that I added. And I'll go through them individually and tell you what I why I'm using these. And maybe it'll give you some insight on what you want to get and the reasons why you wanna get these things. So I'll start with the bottom and I'll work my way through and then I'll move them away from, from the uh, display of <laughs> crazy boxing. Uh, the reason I've got the boxes out is well, I keep all my boxes just in case I'm selling the products on or not use them anymore, I can just box them up or if I have to move, just makes it a lot easier. Um, and also in case they're in warranty, so you can always send these things back, usually within a year or two, depending on the manufacturer. Um, and also I forget some of the names and the brands and uh, what kind of pump it is or where I got it from. So I'll do my best in this video to give you the upside. So um, down here is a, a pump, um, it's a, uh, a bottom submersible pump and as you can see there's a, a part here that you can um, put an, a tube into the top um, or clip over the top of it um, it sucks from the bottom and you can use a speed controller on the bottom it's just like a grate and this I use for water changes for my sump so what I do is I just connect a hose to this part here and drop it in and I use a Wi-Fi plug um, so I start it with my phone app and then I stop it when I'm finished. This way I've got controllability over my water change. It's a big pump. Um, uh, it's um, It's got dry burn capability so it won't burn up on you. Um, but it pumps the, the water out really quick. I think these are used for ponds and things like that. Um, but this was I think from Amazon. I, I think it was around 20 pounds. Um, but it was a great pump and I've actually got it to hand because obviously it's not uh, used on my tank 24 7 so here's the pump and there's the part that I just put the nozzle on it just fits over the top um, you push it right in through here you, if, if you've got the connector to go over there's a few co different connections you can use um, on the bottom is the grate and you can just uh, change that by the little side bit there so how much speed you want coming in or out and it just sucks all the water from the bottom and it makes it real easy to just drop this in and plug it in and you can use a wi-fi plug as i said and just great for uh, water changes so that's the pump for the water change that's for sucking out for the sump part okay let's go with this one i just picked this up from amazon it was around 12.99 very cheap simple uh product um it's just an air pump it's rechargeable uh usb um, and it's um, an air pump, uh, basically uh, ultra quiet, uh, easy to carry. You can use this if you were moving tanks or if you needed it in an emergency, and this is why I bought it. This is gonna be for in case I have a power outage, outage and I have no uh, oxygen going to the tank, at least I can drop this in on a whim. I've been meaning to get this for the last year and a half, and I didn't get one of these before. Um, so I'm really glad I got it. Um, I will show you this uh, in person at the end. I did not get this out for the review, but it's in my sump, so I'll show you in a second. I'll go back and show you these on the tank as well, just to give you an idea. Here we've got a doser. Um, so um, obviously a lot of you are experienced reefers, but if you're new to the hobby, um, I didn't have this when I started because obviously I had no coral in my tank and you're only going to need to dose uh, alkalinity, calcium, they're the main two, or if you're using calcwasser or something, you would need a doser to dose those elements back into the system where the corals are uh, taking them up. Now, I chose this because uh, it's... Um, Easy Dose Plus, it's got a great review online. There's a step-by-step uh, -step video on YouTube um, from the company, I believe, and it's really easy to set up with that as well. 
Um, it's a module, so it's got a screen, and so it's not an app, which I like. I don't want to control uh, my dose, I don't want to mess around with it, I just want to set it and then leave it. Um, it was relatively cheap, I think around £130 for the two-line two doser, uh, so two lines. Uh, for cal calcium and alkalinity, I use this for dosing. Um, what else to say about it? Uh, I believe it's uh, by uh, it's Easy Dose Reef, so I think it's by TMC. Yeah, TMC, which in the UK are well-known branded company. Um, so yeah, real happy with this. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of other doses out there, maybe a lot better than this, or got a lot more features. But for me, I don't have a big system. Um, I just wanted something to get me by for the, for the time. I've checked it on uh, dosing. I've checked it on um, uh, calculations, as in recalibrating it. And it's always fine. I do check it every couple of months. Um, I should do it probably once a month. But it's a great doser. And if anyone's starting out for the price, um, it's a great little module. So that's that one. That's for dosing. Uh, I went with a DC controllable um, uh, DC controllable return pump for my sump uh, to push the water back up into the system. As you all know, it's 4,000 liters per hour. It's plenty big enough for this system. They told me Red Sea would, I would need, I think it was between 1.8 and 2,400 liters per hour to run this system. So it's a bit overkill, but it's only set at 50%. And so if I ever need to go a little bit bigger on a tank or need more power for some reason, I can adjust it. Now, there's a lot of um, kind of, uh, a lot of people use these pumps. I believe they're a Chinese brand, Jacob. Um, I bought this from Amazon. Uh, no, sorry, I bought this from Aqu Aquacadabra, which is an online uh, retailer. Uh, I think they've got a physical shop as well for marine stuff and fish, uh, fish products. Uh, this was around 89 pounds, I believe. Guys, when I say this is a really good pump, this is really good and ultra quiet, as just as it says. I've had a couple of other um, uh, DC, uh, sorry, a couple of other uh, DC uh, return pumps before, um, and they've not been quite as quiet as this. Um, obviously, some of you use AC, I get it, but this has never let me down in the year and a half I've used it. And in fact, it's so good, to be honest with you, I'm going to buy another one. And the reason I'm buying another one is because I'm changing my main gear out, which is my return pump, my heaters, anything that will fail uh, on me, mostly on that side that's kind of the heat the, and the return pump is the most important thing for me. So I I change these out every uh, heaters once a year and the return pump every two years. So um, I'll probably keep uh, the the other one that I get of this exactly the same. Um, I'm going to get it soon before they sell out and they stop making them for some reason. Um, really well built, really easy to clean, and no noise whatsoever coming from this. This thing is amazing. So yep, yeah, it's a thumbs up for me on the Jacob 4000. Okay, so everybody knows Vortec uh, Quiet Drive pump. Can't say enough about this um it's an amazing pump it's on my t reef tank didn't really need it to be honest with you because i have enough flow from the main uh 4000 liter 4300 liters per hour circulation pumps and my return pump which is a f uh, 4000 liter uh return pump so this is just really for extra flow i leave it on three bars now uh all the time um i don't use any of the variant modes um, um but i absolutely love it it's so quiet so easy to clean the wet side you just you just put, turn it off pull it out uh unclip it you know give it a quick wash out and you're good to go and uh never let me down the only thing is a bit annoying is you, they only give you a couple of um pads let me just turn this around for you guys sorry about the shakiness again so on here they give you i don't think they're showing you on here they give you some um stickers for the cabling um and um yeah they only give you a couple and they seem to come loose after time and i wish they could have fixed that so that in case the pump was to come loose the dry side it wouldn't rattle against the tank um but that's the only downside to this but uh, apart from that this is amazing this is not the wireless one this is just the standard mp10 uh not the mp40 mp10 uh oh it says wireless wireless compiler oh, okay all right so this is great great product yeah i like it all right moving on deltech 
uh, 600i it's a dc protein skimmer i'll show you in the sump as well um i love it it's a bit overkill for this tank i wanted to get a 400 one but they had sold out it's got an emergency overflow uh, built onto it so in case the sump level changes for any reason it's low power consumption um, really quiet because it's dc um, and this is one of the reasons why i got it and it's a real small form factor in the sump um, Dell Tech have been making skimmers for years, a uh, German company, they know what they're doing, um, it has a few bells and whistles, doesn't have a drain for it on the collection cup, which is a real disappointment from Dell Tech, they should have done that, uh, they do it on the 1000i, but uh, yeah, for the price, it was it was very pricey, personally, it was 300 and I think 340 or 360 pounds for this beast, um, I used to have a Bubble Magnus Curve 7, but this skimmer for instance runs in 15 to 22 centimeters i believe of depth uh i don't know um but the uh, the other one that i bought was needed to be between 9 and 12 inches uh of depth of water and i just couldn't run it it was making too much vibration and i had to sell it it was a shame so this is a, a thumbs up from dell tech amazing okay let's start from the top we've got the thermal view by uh refactory uh, this is to check my temperature anywhere. Um, you can just dial into the app. You can check the temperature of the of your tank. Um, it doesn't control the temperature on this one. This is just the module, but they do do um, the temperature controller where you plug your heater into this, and it will give you it will it will keep your tank in line with those parameters, basically controlling it. I'm using a different uh, controller because I bought it from the get go. This was a visual for me. I wanted to see all the time what my tank was running at. When we had heat waves, we had some heat spikes, uh, temperature in the summers in the UK, and I kept opening the bottom of the tank to have a look what the temperature was. It was really annoying me. Plus I can check anywhere. If I'm out for the day, I wanna know what the temperature is on the tank so I don't panic. Uh, it gives me an update if it's too low, too high. It sends off an audible alarm if it's too low. And I've noticed this when I'm doing a water change and I've stopped everything apart from a pump. And the heat is off because obviously I'm dra I've drained the sump. So uh, I've drained the main top of the tank where my heater is. So it's it's really good piece of kit. It is a little bit pricey for what it is. Just shows you what it is. It's got, a, it's got a, an app. Um, it's got an audible alarm. It was around 88 pounds, I believe, something like that. It was expensive, but you know what? It was worth every penny, and I really like Refactory. They've got some great products coming out, and I'm looking forward to getting there. They've got a Salinity probe coming out, the same as this, so basically it's just a probe with the plug. They're individual systems, and they all link to the same app. There's a, a pH probe that they do as well. Um, I just like this individual you know, systems where you can buy them, add them. Yeah, you've got more plugs to plug in, but it's a real neat little product and really small form factor. And you've always got the LED light on, so you can always see. If that doesn't bother you, for me, that's a must. So uh, refactory, thermal view, to show you what the temperature is, and monitor, amazing. This is the H2O Guardian. A lot of you will know about this. It's from D&D Company. Um, it's basically preventing your skimmer from overflowing. You plug your skimmer plug into this. This plugs into your main sockets. And this little magnet goes on the collection cup. And then when it gets to that level, it will shut off your skimmer. So it will protect your skimmer from overflowing. It will turn it off when the skimmer's full. And this is a great product if you're away and you don't want the skimmer to overflow. You know, for maintenance, it will shut off automatically. Um, it's, uh, it, it flashes uh, on the sides when it's uh, setting up. It takes around, I think, a minute and a half, two minutes, and then it will turn itself on uh, and then turn on the skimmer. So I love this product and uh, I would mention it to anyone. It's around 54, 57 pounds, something like that. Um, H2O Skimmer Garden, yep, D&D. This I bought recently. This is my um, TMC again. Uh, I didn't want to spend a fortune on this, if I'm being honest. And the one I wanted before, I can't, I thought it was Auto Aqua. They didn't have the brand that I wanted anymore. They wasn't making the pumps for them. 
Um, uh, you couldn't get the new one in this country. In the UK, it was in Europe or something. Um, it's really annoying. So I went with uh, by TMC Reef. This is the uh, Reef Filter Nano uh, Reactor 100. Um, you can put carbon in here. You can put uh, Roafoss in here. You can put Roafoss and carbon together. Just add another little sponge between them so they sandwich so they don't um, uh, cause any problems. The little pump is very good. Uh, just uh, can, not noisy, but make sure it's not touching anything so it doesn't vibrate against anything. It hangs on to the sides of your uh, tank. Uh, on the on the you know so you can hang it anywhere you like and I'll show you where mine is um, would I recommend it yes hell yes uh, it was very cheap I th I can't remember the price on this actually might have been about 70 pounds or something like that maybe a bit more but uh, TMC again yeah brilliant brilliant product really clean looking nice white great product here we've got the um, uh, heat and uh, cooling temperature uh, controller um, by um, I bought it from a product um, on Amazon. You'll get the uh, plug socket, UK two prong for heater, uh, your heater and your cooler, so your fan. Um, you'll get the unit. You'll get the probe, um, and it's plastic, um, so it's it's reef safe. It's not got a metal probe at the end. Um, it was around 30, 30 pounds. It's made by this brand here, if you can make them out. I'll show you in the tank in a sec. Uh, again, Amazon UK, check it out, amazing. Um, uh, that's by that brand there, really good. Don't listen to the reviews, uh, they're really good. Just make sure it's checked and you check out the temperature. Running my V2 uh, 50, this is what I started with because I, it was cost effective for me and I was starting off the tank with um, buying all the stuff, so it was really expensive, 50 US gallons, uh, up to 190 liters of water per day made. It's a little bit slow, around 25 liters, uh, I think takes me around four hours to make of fresh uh, RO water. Now, um, I've, let me just show you this. You get the two canisters, which are the the, the micron filters, five micron, I believe, um, for the for the main one, which is the filter, and then the carbon. On top is the um, resin and the uh, membrane. Uh, I'm running two mem uh, two resins on top, which was uh, advised by Bolt Reef Supply uh little um yeah they're they're an amazing company and they give you a lot of insight so bulk resupply check them out guys it's really good um and uh yeah that keeps my zero tds and uh, changing these uh, filters out i'm buying these from amazon maybe they're not as good but they're lasting me around uh, four to five months um i've got really high tds here around 390 in the uk in london so that's will probably be why Let's just show you under the tank and show you all the bells and whistles of all the products I've shown you today. So this video is uh, going on a little bit, but here we go. So we just pulled this. This is the Deltec protein skimmer. I've had some, uh, when I first plugged it in, it was doing really well. Um, I think I don't have enough nutrients in my system uh, for this to, it's, you can see I've got some skim in there, but it's, uh, it's set at the highest level. Um, uh, on there and I've only set it at three bars on the controller um, This is the TMC Dosa It's uh, yeah blue light you can set all the times you want um, And uh, you know, that's a really really good feature pumped one and two and I'm just using some cheap uh, Containers for those I've mixed them up and that works really well um, this is the air pump that I'm using for an emergency. Um, it's just uh, there, you can charge it. You can turn it on there, green light, and turn off. Uh, real, it's got a little clip, you can clip it somewhere, hang it from somewhere. Um, it's got the little um, air stones here with the, um, the one-way system, so the basic no backflow water will come in. Um, the arrows, the directional arrows, whatever you want to call them. This is the DND Guardian that I was, guys I was talking about. So basically it's just a magnet with an eye and then it's plugged into my protein skimmer. So this is the 
this is the Guardian, and this is my protein skimmer plugged directly in. So amazing. Uh, my DC, sorry, my um, uh, TMC 100 reactor, as you can see here, has a little pump underneath it, just clipped underneath right on the bottom of it. And you can turn the top of it to show how much water is coming out of the reactor, so you can turn it down or up. The, the, the one at the back here is the, um, this big, this one here, that's the, um, sorry, return pump, the, the Jacob 4,000 liters per hour. Um, I'm running also a, uh, one thing I didn't have out the box showing you was the um, 350 Eheim UV sterilizer. It's plugged into a little Eheim compact, I think it was 600 little pump down there. Again, I didn't show. Um, and this is really good. The only thing is that there's a lot of vibration from the compact 600 pump. So if anyone's got a suggestion what pump to use for that, that would plug onto this would be enough flow for it, then let me know, that would be great. But it's a good UV sterilizer. Um, we have the quiet drive controller set at three bars as you can see just about see that um, what else here is my temperature controller so um, 78.6 that's the temperature right now it's it goes up to 79 max so when it drops to 78 uh, I think it's 78 the controller will kick on it will go up to 79 uh, it will click off uh, and then when it drops back down again when it gets to 80 then the fan will kick on. So the fan is plugged here into the controller. This is the heater obviously. And this is the fan that I'm using. Again, the box I didn't have for it, but it's uh, a six speed um, fan. Clips on nicely. Uh, very high powered for 20 pounds from all Pond Solutions. And to be honest with you, not digging it, JHL. Uh, I think they're, they're a great company and everything, but they, I bought a fan from them. It was not much more power than this, and it was, uh, it was about 108 pounds. It was a lot of money. Um, I think it was near 200 pounds at the time. I can't remember. I sold that on eBay because it just wasn't worth keeping. It was bulky and didn't have a lot of power for it for the price. The Jacob 4,000 liters per hour controller up here which is the same as my Deltec pretty much. Um, and I think I've shown everything in here. Just using the standard filter socks with some floss. Anyone's got any ideas about the Deltec skimmer, um, you can see my water level is just uh, underneath the black line there on the tube. And I'm trying to run it not too high on the bars because um, people keep saying that you need to have it just at this boiling point where it's the bubbles are bursting and then um, you'll get skim and it does skim when I get nutrients in the water when I feed and things like that but apart from that it's just not doing what it was doing before you can see I've got loads of tiny micro bubbles and they're just popping at the top there so unless I need to bring up the pump more uh, or down I'm not sure but um, I'm still playing with this. It was working amazingly, and I love this. I love this skimmer. It's so quiet, it's so quiet. And don't forget, I've got the skimmer going. I've got the reactor going. I've got the 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 UV sterilizer pump going. Uh, the the return pump going. There's a lot of stuff happening in this sump that make this noise, but you can barely hear this. And yeah, amazing. It might be too much air or too. Maybe the pump's too high, but it's only on three bars, so I'm really at a loss. I've cleaned it out and everything, but still seems to be a wet skin most of the time uh, for me at the minute. And as I said, nutrients in the water column might be a problem on that factor. Let's go up to the top. I'm gonna to show you what I'm running up here so you can see from the box in. This is the Reef Factory. Uh, thermal view is always on it's amazing and I can always see it from where I'm sitting so I don't have to look underneath um, this is my automatic feeder it's a U it's a USB charge um, and you can set different times and day and things like that I use that when I'm going on holiday 
otherwise I don't really try to treat, uh, feed a lot of dry food. The last thing I'm running was, I didn't have out the box, was my heater just there, you can see it. And it's uh, a 300 watt uh, TMC V2 uh, thermal view heater. It does an amazing job. And again, I'll change that out once a year just for precautions in case it breaks or something. It's got a plastic body and um, I think it's, it's not touching anything in there. Um, and uh, I've got drip loops on everything. So guys, if you like this video, you like my crazy boxes that I got out for you guys today, just to show you where I've got them from, what the actual brand is you can see from me posting it. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up. I'm going to show you more videos on all my testing stuff, all my other stuff that I'm running and more product stuff to come soon and obviously my display tank. Thanks guys. Take care.